The following is a presentation of the Eagles Sports Network. This is CNEagles.com. I'm the voice of the Eagles, Adam Cavalier, alongside Carson Newman head baseball coach Tom Griffin. Tom, been a frustrating uh, bit of time for Carson Newman baseball. You come off of a one-run loss on Thursday to Lee and turn around and leap back into conference play with Mars Hill. How do you keep an even keel through this process and adhere to your processes? First of all, it's good to see you again, Adam. It's been a missed while. Missed you. I missed you too. Uh, but I tell you, uh, there are challenges. I, you know, and um, yeah, I'll be honest with you, uh, met with players today just to say, okay, what can we do to uh, alleviate any of the stress, if you want to call it that. There's always stress when you're, you're having a, a streak we're having. We're playing – Good enough baseball yeah. to be in games, uh, one-run games. You're right there. Um, you know, we looked at some teams in our conference, and you look at Tusculum and LMU. Well, they're on an eight- and nine-game winning streak right now. And if you look at stats, which is part of baseball, it's not like all three fats of their game are doing exceptional, but they're winning ball games. They're confident right now, and, and it's it breeds success. And uh, yet we've played very well against them. And Lee was a good opponent yesterday from the Gulf South mm-hmm. Conference and played very good baseball. Offensively did a good job. Uh, Logan Schaffner was uh, very good. Justin Evans in relief. But then again, kind of got caught and stubbed our toe and, and couldn't get a, a break to go our way one or another. So we talked with players and said, okay, what, what is it? Um, again, we, we go back to, and we were reading about it, you got to persevere we were reading a verse today in, uh, in our coach's Bible about that, and today it talked about perseverance. And it just so happened it's apropos that, yeah, we have to persevere through this. Um, now, we talked with players and said, okay, what can we do to alleviate some of the stress that comes along with this happening? Because there is going to be stress, and that's natural, so how do we want to deal with that? So we discussed some of those things, and uh, uh, that's the one thing we, we put trust in the players because we told them, listen, it, in the bottom line, the locker room – and on game day, it's yours. So you do what you've got to mm-hmm. do. You figure that out. Practices are for the coaches, and that's where we've got to work and touch on stuff. But at this point, you, you know what to do. They, they know what they've got to do. And I think they believe in themselves and believe they're a talented group. And as coaches, we certainly believe in them. Uh, and and uh, it hurts for us to see when they go through what they go through because you love them. And uh, just like kids, you – you're disappointed because they're hurting, not because of the, the losses. That you know, coaches, you know, you get disappointed by it. But talking with Coach Sparks yesterday before we left, well, he puts things in perspective in a great way, as you know, about you know this is God's purpose right now to see how you're going to deal with that. We go to a certain point, and now we're going to lose our faith. No, um, but the players, when I mean, we've talked about it, there's some things that we've got to uh, we'll do a little bit differently. Um, and, and that's what communication is all about, and that's what we did today. Tusculum, LMU, three, three of those six decided by one run. Lee decided by one run. Do you try to change anything, or do you keep it consistent and let it push through on its own? Great question. I think all coaches are looking for how do you change uh, the results. Um, I think uh, me personally is, is to keep doing what you're doing. But I think you also have to listen to your players as well and, and find out, okay, what is it they need? Um, because, again, they're playing the game. You know, we want – and so we did. You know, this is – they've said some things that, okay, here's some things we'd like to, to do. All right, let, let's, let's give it a shot. Now, we've got core values and core principles we're not going to go away from. Uh, you know, whether it's being clean-shaven or, or having a beard like you <laughs> – you know, if, if it takes that they want to be a little looser with it, we can do that. I, I, we're, we're okay with that. The key we told our players, it's all about communication. Mm-hmm. No matter what you're doing, um, we can agree to disagree, but we want them to be able to communicate, and that's what they've done. And, um, you know, but, but as far as what we've got to do on a daily basis to get ready for games and things, uh, you know, you got to keep doing that uh, because those are the core principles and the core values for your program. Um, we believe also it goes down to the whole faith process, yeah. you know, and a lot of times we want to try to look for a trinket or a, a little gadget to get us out of it. And it really comes down to faith. If, if you've got faith in God, you know that there's a purpose behind it. Trust the purpose mm-hmm. and just keep doing your daily grind and not, you know, trying to think you're going to find a, a four leaf clover to get you out of it. You got a little luck of the Irish though. I mean, we've got Lou Holtz smiling down on you from behind. 
Well, I need to bring him in the dugout. I, I, uh, I think you know, and, and I'm a big Notre Dame fan, and and uh, Lou Holtz is a uh, you know been someone I followed a lot, and you know I think that's what you take from different coaches. Talking mm-hmm. with Coach Sparks, you know, uh, I mean, we talked for 15 minutes, but you you gain so much about yourself and about life, uh, or talking to a, a Fred Corral at University of Georgia, and uh, get perspective from what they go through or. Mike Pollock Castro. I mean, we all as coaches talk to different coaches. Yeah. I Chuck Benson won't talk to me anymore because they're winning right now, and <laughs> so I don't think he wants to talk. When we were when we weren't playing, he was calling me, and we were talking a lot. Now he won't call me. But you talk to coaches, and you know what you understand is we all go through these things, and you know we are. These kids are playing hard. They competing. They care about each other. You can tell when we met this morning, man. They are they are hurting, mm-hmm. and that's good. Because they care, yeah. and they're invested, and they saw that we care, and we're invested, and we hurt for them. When we say we love these guys, yeah, we spend more time with these guys than we do our own children. Uh, Coach uh, uh, Herring has a young daughter. Uh, Coach Barnett, uh, you know, has a uh, is in a serious relationship with someone, and we spend more time with these guys than we do our own kids. So we're invested in, in wanting them to succeed more than anything. So... Um, we're all in this together, and uh, we're going to learn a lot from it, good and bad. Let's take a look at pitching from the, for a moment, just from the bullpen. 22 walks for this month, just 10 for the entire month of February. Is there something that's shifted there? Well, that's a good question. I think as coaches, you're seeing, uh, you know, is there something going on there? And really, no. Uh, I, we don't. Coach Herring, uh, you know, these guys are prepared, and, and the relievers know that. And it's just, you know, sometimes you hit a funk. Uh, sometimes, like yesterday, you know, um, borderline pitch you're not getting Mm -hmm. or you know um, that game could have been over a lot sooner there's a lot of factors for it but I think that uh, uh, it goes back to our pitchers just uh, you know you want to call it confidence or belief whatever but um, no I don't I don't think there's much to look into that because they did perform well in that first month and uh, and that's what they're capable of doing but again if you're you're winning four or five in a row that's probably not even an issue, but things get magnified. Yeah. We understand that. Players understand that. But uh, no, I think that's a. Um, I think that's just something that they'll they'll work through. Griffin, pleasure as always. Good luck this weekend at Mars Hill. Thank you. Uh, you guys do a fan, fantastic job. We don't get a chance to say this a lot, but uh, we are very lucky to have you and your crew here. And anytime I think you can let people know how appreciative we are of what you do, I think that has to be done. And we're very fortunate. Thank you, Adam. Griff, thanks for the time. Thank you. Carson Newman, head baseball coach Tom Griffin. I'm the voice of the Eagles, Adam Cavalier, and this is CNEagles.com.